Hi everyone! How's everyone doing? The sun is actually shining today. It's going to make you feel real good today with the sun shining. Yes. I got a few things I want to get done in the kitchen today. So I thought, you guys, if you guys want to come along, I'll show you a few things. A few uh, yummy things. Yeah. So first thing off is uh, I gotta make Bruce's lunch so I'm gonna make egg salad because I have so many eggs yes so we're gonna make m how I make egg salad and uh, you guys can follow me along today I had to put some chicken breasts in the pan to boil Sandy comes in here and looks at me like where is my dinner Where where's my chicken or, I was like so, I'm going to get her some chicken cooking there. So, let's get busy peeling these eggs and let's chat. We can chat while we do it. Okay, I just, what I do is I boil, I put my eggs in the pot pan, I turn it on and when it starts to boil, I shut it off and leave it sit there for 20 minutes or so. And that's how I cook my boiled eggs. Easy. Bring it to a boil. Let it turn it off. Let it sit. That's the best way you can do boiled eggs. Now, I have fresh eggs, so sometimes they're not always easy to peel, and sometimes they are easy. Look at that. That was easy. <laughs> So I'm going to go out probably outside later and let the girls out and let them, uh, let them just foggle around. What do you call that? What they do, what they do best yeah, is dig and scratch and all that fun stuff that chickens love to do because they need, I like to get them out at least once. I try twice a day, but sometimes it's hard. Yeah. Anyways, these eggs are peeling perfect. Yeah. It's going to be a long week. I'm, I'm going to try not to go shopping and use everything I have in the home, which is quite a bit, I think. I can do it. I don't have to run to the grocery store. And I can use things up. I got some good ideas for you guys this week for cooking. Yeah. Zen's all happy and doing what he does. <laughs> yeah. The girls are getting some of these eggs too, eh? I'm going to take about four for the girls. Yeah, they get eggs too. Good protein for them. Yeah. I miss letting this going and letting them out and letting them free range. I miss that so much. But I don't want to lose any more girls. It's hard. And it's funny. When a hawk goes over, they know it. And they run. They run. Butter ran into the coop. The other girls run and hide. And it's like, wow. They know. They know when the hawk's coming. I have never, ever had this problem. I've always let my girls free range. And they've never, a hawk has never, never ever bothered with them. I don't get it. But, that's the way it goes. This one exploded in there. You certainly don't want any shells. <laughs> okay, let me get this finished and then I'll show you how I make my egg salad. It's real simple. Very simple. Okay, 
Once I get them peeled, I just chop them up. And then uh, after I chop them up, I go over them with a knife like this. <laughs> yeah. Let me get these chopped up and all, and I'll show you. I just mix simple ingredients. I'm not, I don't want to overdo it. Okay, so I got my eggs all. Oh, I can't remember to take some out for the girls. Okay, so I have some green onions I have here. And I also have this little red onion. So I could use these both. I already washed these. They were in the... Sometimes when my green onions start to look like they're going bad, I'll cut them and uh, get them in water. Then they're fresh again. And I can use them like that. So I'm just gonna cut the green onion and the red onion up and add it to my egg salad. You can put celery if you want. I don't have any celery, but if I did, if I put it in, it would be very minced. <laughs> I would not want a big chunk of celery. I like to eat celery, like celery sticks with dip. And I don't mind it cooked as long as it's minced really fine. But just to get a big chunk of celery in a stew or something, oh, heck no. No. That is not me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to throw that in. I use, I, I have never really put red onion in my uh, egg salad before, but I'm not going to throw this away. It's, it's a good onion to use up. I like to take that part out because it's really hot. For some reason, I don't know why. It's always hot. I'm gonna take the first layer off. Just gonna chop it up. Actually, I'll get my chopper to do it for me. does not work in here for some reason. I don't know why, but it won't cut it up. <laughs> I'm having some of this for lunch. I'm hungry. I have not ate yet today. And I think some of this with some crackers and a, and a cold one, a cold Pepsi Zero will be perfect. Okay, let's give that a mix. Let me uh, get my other stand and I'll bring you over more. Okay. Give that a good mix to mix that onion around. And then I'm going to put salt. Pepper. Okay. 
onion. If I had dehydrated onions, I would put them in. It's got onion powder. And a little bit of this smoked paprika. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay. Give that a mix. Oh, I can smell that paprika. It smells wonderful. <laughs> Okay, now I use the Great Value dressing. You can use Miracle Whip or whatever you want. You do you. I like this. Okay. Then I just mix up my, my dressing in it. Zen, you sure have a lot to say today. You like that sunshine? Hey. This is so good on an English muffin in the morning. If you have a toasted English muffin, put some bacon in there. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> There goes my fridge. I think I'm going to put just a little more in. Not a lot, just a little bit. I think that should do it. Let's see. I always forget about egg salad when I'm like, I got so many eggs. What do I do with it all? I always forget about egg salad. Yeah. Okay, we have to try it. Give it a try. Mmm. Mm-hmm. A little more salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Mmm. A little bit more of this. Paprika. Again. Perfect. Let's make Bruce a sandwich for his lunch. Okay. I like to butter my bread. I always butter my sandwiches. Yes, she does. <laughs> You know it, hubby. Okay. Sometimes I can overfill sandwiches like this. Yeah.
I don't have any whole piece of lettuces, but I do have my my salad here. It'll work. There we go. Look at that sandwich, you guys. Look. Oh, my God. I'm so good. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> They're going to be jealous of your sandwich today, hon. Make sure you tell them those are fresh eggs. Hey Sandy, your chicken's coming. It's got to cook. You're getting under my feet now, eh? Look at, wow, look at that. Professional sandwich wrapper. <laughs> okay. Pick a valentine, Michelle. We got our Valentine supplies here. Okay. We will do this one, I guess. Not, not kidding. Be my valentine. <laughs> okay. Two brews. Unemployment's done. Love, Michelle. I gotta start putting one from... Zen and Sandy and the girls and Jethro and Nate. That'll be next time. Girls are waiting for you. I bet they are. I gotta have my lunch first. And then you put a little piece of some tin foil. When he unwraps his sandwich, he'll be surprised. <laughs> okay, I gotta have some lunch now. I'm going to put some peaches in Bruce's lunch, and I'm going to have some peaches for oh, things oh. Like my lunch. Ah, you just threw it on the floor. Try and grab it, would you? <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Any oh, whoa, no. Whoa, whoa. There's something in there. Damn it. It's going to come. Watch out. What was that? Watch out. <laughs> I don't know what oh, that was. tooted. Yeah. What's for lunch right now? Have some of those potatoes if you want. I was going to let you have those. That's a lot. Well, you don't have to eat them all, honey. You can save some. Ooh. Put the, uh, the window garden. Okay, just move over there. Oh, I didn't get and burned by the stove? Butter. Always better with butter. Oh, I don't know. There's not that many. I'll give you half. I would. No, I don't want any. Uh, 
You're in my way. Well, I'm trying to make room for both of us. Well, there's not room for my carcass. Oh, my God. Your lover Weird. bird's here attacking me. What are you doing? Going out to my man. Give me my spray bottle, please. I'm telling you, Zan, I'll spray you. She's a sprayer. That's not your man. It's my man. <laughs> He's kooky. You better walk away. You're messing with the wrong woman. I think whoever had him, I think the woman beat him or something. Because <laughs> he doesn't want nothing to do with the women. Oh, you hear that, huh? Yep. Yeah. That's what I do when I'm full of gas. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> do you enjoy your peaches at work? Oh, I love them. I'm glad we did them. Oh, we're doing we're doing them next year, hon. Gotta take Good some thing I had that idea. Vacation time then and Vacation time? Yeah. Oh, can I oh. so you can have the lid and I put the lid on the on top of my Juice. 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 Somebody's impatient. I know. I'm going to have some with the uh, crackers at the end of the barrel. And all crushed. There's my lunch. I'm going to go eat lunch and put you guys on the charger. You'll be refreshed. And then we'll go see the girls. Okay, guys. We are going to make a dessert. I'm going to make them good, like, nice portions with these containers. Not too much. And I got these containers at Dollarama, I think it was. And they'll make a perfect little dessert. Yeah. So what I'm making is Biscoff pudding. Well, dessert. I don't know. I'm going to start use with using vanilla pudding. Now you could use uh, sugar-free if you wanted to. You could use sugar-free. I've got a bunch of these jellos and puddings in my cupboard. And I was like, okay, Michelle, it's time to use them. I just sit there and sit there and sit there. Yeah, so we're going to make the pudding first. It's just simple, just pudding and I think it said two cups of milk. Yeah, two cups of milk. I got to use this milk up too. This is the good stuff we're going to use. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. I've got so much jello and pudding in there. It's crazy. Please let me have enough. Please let me have enough. Please, please. Look at that. <laughs> oh, how lucky is that? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we get our milk in bags. In Canada, don't ask me why. I don't, I don't understand it either. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just mix this for two minutes. I won't bother you, bore you. I'll be back. Okay, I splattered this shit everywhere. Like I thought, it can't be that bad. It's went everywhere. Sprinkled everywhere. That's Michelle for you. <laughs> oh, I got I hope I didn't get any on your faces. Did I get some in your face? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. 
So I'm going to take my pudding and put it in the fridge for a minute, just for a few minutes. Okay. Now, the fun will begin. I, I, I ordered a I even got it sprinkled up here. I ordered some Biscoff cookies. I thought they were just regular Biscoff, but I guess I ordered the one with caramel in the middle. I never knew there was such a thing, right? Okay. So, I'm going to put some of this in my pudding on the top and on the, on the bottom and the top. But I don't want to overdo it. Okay. So, let's see, how many calories in these things? 16, Okay, so, uh, it's 50. So there's 80 calories in two cookies. So I'll probably maybe do two each, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I need to. Uh, I'm going to do that much. I'm going to do two, four, seven cookies, okay? Let's get these broke up and crumbled. Will this work? Not might not work. It might not work. <laughs> I want to work. Okay, I don't think it's gonna work. I'm gonna have to just crumble them up. Let me go crumble these up. It's not gonna work in this. I don't think. Maybe I should have. Maybe. Broke them up a bit, Michelle. Instead of trying to crumble the whole thing up. That's probably what I should have done. Let's try it now. the regular biscuit bis, biscoff cookies yeah they'll be less calories i didn't realize i ordered ones with caramel in them okay i just wanted the regular biscoff cookies i think costco sells them i asked bruce that's what i wanted i wanted the, when he went and when he went in costco i wanted some biscoff cookies and he come out with this <laughs> that's how we found out that that Costco sells, you know, Biscoff. And if you're ever mad at your husband, just tell him the Biscoff. Biscoff! <laughs> okay, let me put my cookies away so I don't eat them. I'm going to put them in a little baggie. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's put the first layer in. Or you can tell somebody that doesn't like your cooking, bisque off. Just bisque off. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to do five. 
maybe four. I don't know. So we're going to start with pouring some of these cookies in the bottom of your thing, your containers. Okay. Oh, they're smell good. Okay. Next, we're going to put some pudding on top. Now, you can do whipped cream. I don't have any. And I'm just trying to make it a little lighter. Uh, now, we're going to put our vanilla pudding on top of that. I wanted to get this done before I go see the girls. Because if I come back in, I might not want to do it. <laughs> and I wanted to be, I wanted to do this. I just thought of this myself. I didn't get this off a line or anything. This is my own professional idea. Yeah. That one needs a little more. Okay, I'm going to lick that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Next, we're going to take some of this and melt it in the microwave. I don't know, about a quarter cup, say a quarter cup. Okay, 50 seconds was good. Is it too hot? <laughs> We're going to take some of this Biscoff. We're going to drizzle it on our pudding. My God, you guys, this is professional. <laughs> this looks so good. Try and get a little fancy. I'm not fancy. No, <laughs> I'm not fancy. This is a nice, 
You know when you're craving a fancy dessert and you don't want a lot of calories? This isn't too bad at all. Okay. Then you're going to take the rest of your cookies and just sprinkle them on top. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're going to wait till after we eat to have one, but I could dive into this right now. Oh my goodness. I am licking this bowl too. You know I am. Uh huh. Let me show you, you guys. Look, you guys. <laughs> Look at that little fancy dessert. Just enough to satisfy you. Oh my gosh, you guys. Give it a try. Well, I'll let you know what it tastes like when we try it. But yeah. I can't wait till dessert time. <laughs> okay. Time to do the farm chores. Ooh, the geese are out today. Don't you love our, our, our cardinals? I got that at a yard sale. I got one here on this side. And one over there on that side. Pretty cool, eh? Yard sale find. Hey, Jethro. The girls get to come out now. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on, you little badasses. Mom forgot your treat in the house, but when we go uh, around to the garden area, I'll go in the house and get it. Yeah. Okay. Everything's empty. Their food's empty, so we gotta fill it. Our farm chores. Mom's gotta do her farm chores. This is the scratch they get in the winter time. It's got corn, black seed oil, peanuts. Uh, all kinds of good stuff. It was keep them warm in the winter time, right? Okay, now no putting your bum in front of the camera, please. Uh, I said when we go in, when I we go in the, the garden yard area, yard, I will go in the house and get your eggs I made for you. Okay? Okay. Peanut, you're not starving. No. I give them, well, we feed our chickens organic ch uh, chicken layer feed. I give them that. And I usually ferment their food, but I haven't been able to in the winter because the jar will freeze. So we'll start that again in the spring, but they do like their, they do like their food mixed with water because they're spoiled brats. Right, Jethro? Yeah. They're spoiled rats. So I put water in their feed and I just mix it with my spoon. Oh. Come on, girls! Garden yard! Uh, Daddy has the, the wire on. Give me a second here. Give me a second. They love to go in here. Give me a second. Darn him. 
I told him you don't need this on right now. Let me get it, guys. Okay, girls, single file. Let's go. Another one. Come on, girls. One peanut. <sighs> Marshmallow! <laughs> they're not stupid, you know. They know their names. Our friend Scott gave us that sign. Come on, Peanut! What the heck you got? Oh, you got a piece of eggshell. Really? Seriously. Go work those gardens. Work those gardens. Okay, girls, gather! Treats! Treat! <laughs> okay, you get yours up there. <laughs> Come on, girls! Where are they? Come on, everyone! You missed all the treats. She'd rather dig up that stuff, though. See, this is why when we grow things, they're not allowed in this yard. Because they'll tear it down and eat it all. Yeah. Okay, go play. You had your treat. Now go play. Oh, I got some water in that bucket for them. I got to put it in the saucer. There you go, girls. A drink if you want it. <sighs> Thank goodness for rainwater. <laughs> you guys, that's how warm it is. Peanut's taking a, a dirt bath. <laughs> They're so cool. It's only 50 degrees. It's all it's 50 degrees in Canada here. You believe that? She gets to take a dirt bath. Yeah. Isn't that awesome, Peanut? You get yourself all cleaned. Yeah, the good girl. Good girl. Taking your bath. Okay, guys. I'm making for tonight's dinner unstuffed peppers. Instead of stuffing peppers, I'm going to make them unstuffed. Now, these are peppers from our freezer that we've grown ourselves. And I'm going to first start off by frying these up. I don't need any oil because they're wet. Because they were frozen. But uh, you if you don't have peppers that you grew in your garden, you can use regular peppers. Just cut them up. So I'm going to get these going. As these are going, I want to cut up a whole onion. Okay, so just cut up one onion into little pieces. Okay. Love you, Nate. What are you going to cook for dinner? Okay. He'll make himself something. He makes his own dinner half the time. Because he won't eat what I cook. That's okay. Okay. So just cut them in pieces. I'm going to do this. It's nice getting outside in the fresh air. with the girls. I could have got my cutter thing, but I don't feel like dirtying it for the third time today. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Just like that. Cut them smaller if you don't want big chunks of onions. Okay. Not pretty the colors. The trunnions in there too. 
Okay. While this is going, let me show you something. I'm going to put some uh, little spices on these. Some salt and pepper. Oh, I also got to cook some rice. Rice, too. I almost forgot. Uh, garlic powder. And some garlic plus. And some of Michelle's spice. Basil, parsley, tomato skins. Give that a stir up. Turn my heat up a little higher. It's like my burner's not working half the time. Okay, let me get the rice going. You're gonna need, well, I use Insta rice, I know. Yeah. Okay, just gonna cook what I have left here. Yes, I like Insta rice better. I don't know why I like the texture of it better. Yeah, I don't know why. Let me get water in there and get that going. Looking good. Okay, now, if if I did not have this already done, when this is when I think this is cooked enough, I would take it out and cook my ground beef about a pound of ground beef. Okay, but. Once it's done, if you if you don't have ground beef cooked on hand, I cook some and I store it in these containers and then I have it when I want to make something with ground beef, like say sloppy joes. It's already cooked. I just add it to the pan and that make the sauce. Like so easy. If you don't have uh, if you don't have yours already cooked. Take this out and then add your ground beef and cook your ground beef, okay? But since I have mine already cooked, I'm going to add it already cooked. down now. This is an easy prep when you bring your ground beef home. Cook it up and put it in containers like this. If you're working, it's so easy to get a meal out of it. You can make tacos, you can make sloppy joes, like I said, you can make Hamburger ground beef. You can make a lot of things. And easy and fast. It's hard when you're working full time and you come home and you want to cook a meal. Yes.
Okay, I also have my own homemade sauce, but you can use a, a jar of sauce. You don't have to have homemade. You can use a jar of sauce. I have homemade here, and I'm going to add that to it. Look at that Parmesan cheese right there. <laughs> it's a little froze still, but that's okay. It'll thaw out. Just going to mix that up real good. And we're going to get that meat blended in there in the sauce. That'll, that'll cook right down. Won't take long. I also have... to use up I have uh, this it's all just tomato sauce if you don't have your own sauce you could use this too I'm gonna use this up in here I think we will see how much I need uh, but you can get a case of it at Costco real cheap or you can buy it in the stores, single. Yeah, that's going to melt down. I'm going to add, well, i got my rice there. i got to shut that off and remove that from the heat. Okay. See if I use it all or not. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to use it all. Not much in there. I'm going to put some water in there. Of course. Of course I'm going to put some water in there and get every glass drop. Now this is going to make a lot. I'll probably freeze a couple containers of this that I could keep in the freezer. And on a busy day, I don't want to cook. Just pull it right out of the freezer. Easy. Once this... Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I got to wipe that up. Once this is all uh, melted down, then we'll throw in our rice. Looking good. That was the best sauce. I've, the best uh, uh, sauce I've ever made so far. Yeah. It has um, a little bit of... of uh, what does it have? It has beef and... Um, Oh, I forget what else. Two different kinds of meat in it. But it, it I'm next year next year I'm not putting the meat. I'm just gonna make the sauce and I can add the meat to it because uh, the meat seems to uh disappear. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna leave that be for a bit. Okay, I know it sounds weird, but just trust me on this one. Please just trust me. You're going to put in a cup of broth. I have my homemade broth here, so. <laughs> okay. A little bit I can put in Sandy's chicken. Okay, then I'm going to add the rice. I'll find my Parmesan cheese. Where is it? There it is. Okay, let's add the rice first. I'm getting close to the edge. 
Tell you. <laughs> I don't know. What's that? That's got to be about a cup and a half. Ah, oh, don't measure. Just guess. That's got to be about, I don't know, two cups of rice. I don't measure. Unless I'm baking. The only true thing I measure is baking. Okay? I'm going to mix this in. Oh, Michelle. You had to push it to the edge, eh? Look at those peppers coming up. Yeah, I just want to simmer it. But I don't know. I think I might have to put it in a bigger pot. Oh, this is... You're pushing it, Michelle. You're pushing it. Okay, I'm going to put some Parmesan. The real shit. It's the real shit. About half a cup. Okay, I am pushing it to the limit. Okay, we're going to let this simmer. Okay, you guys, I got it in my Dutch oven. Yeah. Then you're going to put in a half a block of cream cheese. This makes all the difference in the world. And we're just going to let that melt down in there. Then stop! It'll melt down. Just bring it to a nice simmer. We're also going to put some uh, cheddar, old cheddar cheese in here too. You don't think I'm done yet, do you? No. Love you, Nate. I have to shred some cheese. You have to be really careful when you put cheese in things. If you have that heat too high, that's, that cheese is just going to disintegrate into and disappear. Just like your, just like your uh, dumplings. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. I'm going to shred just about a... Shred, shred some to put in, in it and shred some to put on top. Don't want it too high. Keep an eye on it. It's just got a nice little simmer to it. It's not really a soup. It's because by tomorrow this will thicken right up. So I would not call this a soup. I call it unstuffed peppers. Okay. Let's put this cheese in there. And I'm actually going to turn it right down. I don't want... <laughs> I don't want my cheese to disappear. Oh my god, you guys, look at that. Still got a little bit of green cheese left in there. And then, so now I'm going to shred up some cheese to put on top. Make sure you keep an eye on it. Do not let it get overboiled. 
Like I said, your cheese will completely disappear and ruin the whole recipe. I'm gonna taste that. See if I need any more salt in it. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yum. I think that's perfect. I'm going to shred enough cheese for that because this is today's dinner and tomorrow's dinner. As you know, when I cook a meal, we have it two days in a row. Yeah, and the rest I'll probably freeze. If I have any left, I'll freeze it for another day when I need to pull something out fast. Nothing goes to waste in my kitchen. No. Saves money doing that. Cook one day, eat for two. Yeah. You have to with the price of everything these days. And when you're trying to go to the grocery store a lot less, it works. Yeah. I would make a, a biscuit, but I'm I'm gonna serve salad with this tonight. Yeah, because I have a nice salad in there. So it'll be salad on the side instead of biscuits. You could serve biscuits with it or a salad. Whatever you want. Or you could just eat it like that. A little more cheese. And tomorrow, I don't have to cook in the kitchen. I can color. I can, you know, do whatever I want. I don't have to worry about cooking in the kitchen. And I got dessert. Oh, I can't wait to try that pudding. Can't wait. That should be enough. If you're new here, I store my cheese in a cereal bag. It never goes moldy. <clears throat> Keep it in this plastic too. It never goes moldy. I store my mozzarella like this. Any kind of cheese, I store it like this, in the crisper. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to shut this off completely, completely off. I'm going to put the lid on and let it sit for a half hour. It'll be really nice and hot, and the cheese will not be dissolved. It'll be dissolved, but the cheese won't disappear is what I'm trying to say. Half hour and we'll sit and eat our dinner. Okay, so that spruces. I'm going to have him put his cheese on after he heats his up, his up when he gets home from work. There it is. Unstuffed peppers. And Sandy has some chicken. Let's go eat and taste this, you guys. It's still light out, you guys. <laughs> I got a little light on just in case so okay look at this the cheese melted perfect uh-huh I have my salad here I got this on Amazon you guys uh, you can't see it right but it's Ken Steakhouse Ranch we can't get this maybe we can I don't know but in stores I shop at we can't get this in our grocery stores I got it on Amazon 
Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> it's delicious, I wanted to say. I want... Should I try the blue cheese one? Is it good? Let me know, you guys. Let me know if the blue cheese one is just as good as the ranch. Yeah. I don't like the vinegar salad dressings. No. Okay. You ready to try this? Okay. I got a fork and a spoon. Okay. Let's get cheese and pepper. Well, one pepper at a time, Michelle. Okay. I'm excited. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> that, that is good. And you know what, guys? It's low carb, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it's almost six and it's still daylight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Let me try my salad. <laughs> Mm. I love that dressing. I don't understand why they don't sell it in the grocery stores in Canada. Maybe they do at Zares. I don't go to Zares because it's not close to me. So they might sell it at Zares. I don't know. But mm -hmm. it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go eat and then we'll come back to say goodnight and we will try our dessert. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting all day for that. I was thinking about it outside. <laughs> I'm like, I should have dessert before dinner. But I didn't. <laughs> I'll be back. I wanted to say you could put... I would, if I had it, I'd put sour cream on that. I would put it on my baked potato yesterday, too. I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> But we don't have any sour cream. If I had sour cream, I'd definitely put it on my dinner here. Mm -hmm. And those potatoes were magnificent. Even Bruce said they they were magnificent. Mm -hmm. The reason to put your your potatoes in salt water is to get the starchy out and then it makes the skin crispier. Yeah. So I don't know. I learned that from somewhere down the road. But yeah. So make sure put some sour cream on there. Mm -hmm. Yum. Okay, biscuits here. <laughs> I forgot. Biscuit was over there when we were eating. Okay, we're going to try our dessert. I've been thinking about this forever. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. I knew it would be good. I knew it. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, this is delicious. I want to thank you for joining me today. I'm going to go enjoy my dessert and just take my time. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That is a 20 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Even if you get just the regular biscoff, that's what I wanted, the regular ones. I didn't want the round ones, but it's all good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me. 
cooking and hanging out with me and me and Biscuit, or Biscuit and I. We'll see you in the next one. Good night, everyone.